With various shapes within SOLIDWORKS, there are certain limitations to the tangent mate as well as coincident mate within an assembly. If you go into the SOLIDWORKS help, you can see for either the tangent mate or the coincident mate, as well as actually some of the other mates, which mate types will work. So if I'm looking at the tangent mate and I look at a sphere, I can see that I might have issues with a cam an extrusion as well as a surface. And in this video I'll be talking about mating this directly to or mating a sphere directly to a surface. Also if I look at coincident, you'll see that the sphere can only be mated to a point, coincident. Otherwise none of the other mate types work. So we may have to add extra geometry or extra reference points to a sphere as well as whatever surface we're working with in order to get our mates to work. So if I come in and choose mate and choose the spherical face as well as the surface you'll see that nothing gets populated. Lock is my only option. And if I choose the spherical face and a flat face I have the option of creating a tangent, distant, or a lock mate. But in this case I want my sphere to run along this surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a few reference points to the sphere. We'll go ahead and come into reference geometry and choose point. And I'll just choose this face and that'll create a point at the center. Once again, I'm going to come back into the point, choose the projection option this time. I'll choose point one and this face, and that'll project a point to the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and add another point on the other side with a sketch. and I'll make these horizontal. Next I'm going to go ahead and come back into my assembly. And for the view I have points and sketches turned on so I can see these points. But I'll go ahead and select this point 2 and the surface and you see that will allow me to create a coincident mate. But one of the issues with this mate is while this is coincident to the surface, the sphere doesn't stay above the surface. It can freely penetrate. So that's not going to work in this case. And if I mate my point 1, you'll see that this stays at the same height, but once again it's inside of the surface. So what I want to do is create an offset surface to meet that point 1 in the middle of the sphere. And I'm going to go ahead and just check the diameter of the sphere. as a radius of half of an inch, so we'll need an offset surface of half of an inch. So if I come in the surfaces tab, choose offset surface, and then choose that top face. I can set this to half an inch. come back into my assembly and then mate that point one at the center into that surface. And now this will follow that surface. I can also limit the travel in the X with a limit mate if I want as well. But you can see for the surface that 
this is limited at the ends on these sides. And we can just go ahead and hide away that surface as well so it can't be seen. And now this sphere is traveling along this surface.